Almost 40,000 at Fever Pitch, ready for this at the Stadium of Light. And if you didn't know quite where you were, or where you are, that banner will tell you, it is huge. So Regis Labris takes office at home for the first time. Brought in from French football, his Lorient team were relegated from the top tier last season, albeit they had sold a few of their best players. Well, Danny Roll is one of football's rising talents, a bright young head coach who could be leading Sheffield Wednesday to better days. Now Bernard, looking for Windas. Chance here for Eliza Mayenda to run. Clark again. Jack Clark being pursued by Windas, and he wins the free kick. In a position of promise for Sunderland. He's the kind of player, he goes both ways and he just draws and invites challenges and he's confident that he can get his body between himself and an opponent. A huge overload at the far post. Roberts with it! It's Executed by Dennis Serkin and Sunderland. This time, the set piece plan does work. But look at that, there's not a Sheffield Wednesday player anywhere near. Look, there's still work to be done. This is a brilliant header, and you're tall, aren't you, as a kid? Head the ball down, and this is the reason why. Makes it so hard for Beadle. Brilliant free kick. Brilliant header, just the start that Sunderland would have dreamt about last night. Sunderland deliver the first blow of this contest, and Regis Labris feeling right at home in his first time at home, thanks to a set piece which worked to perfection. They are happy with what they are seeing so far. Well, that's loose from Windass, and Mayenda's on to this! Bang! 2-0 to Sunderland! In next to no time! He's auditioning for the striker role, and the teenager just torment Sheffield Wednesday and profits from the error. Yeah, because this is going to do him a power of good. Windass tries the... Elaborate flick, it doesn't come off. And it falls to Mayenda, and a little bit like Dennis Serkin with a header, he's still got plenty enough to do, but he stays calm, composed, and he picks his spot. And it's an absolute beauty and a cushion for Sunderland. I don't think they would have closed their eyes dreaming. They'd have been 2-0 up after 15 minutes here last night. But that's the reality. Bellingham again. And with the effort on goal. And it will be a stumbling corner. Roll to Clark. Bit of space here for Rig. They were swarming around him and it's touched in! Sheffield Wednesday are in shock, the players cannot believe that Luko 9 is onside, they feel he looked miles offside, but things happen so quickly in football. The officials don't think he is, and that's because he isn't, Josh Windass on this side is playing him on. It's a lack of discipline by Windass being two, three yards deeper than the rest of his teammate. And yes, there's an element of good fortune in it, but Sunderland will take it. It's a huge start to the game. I don't think anybody could have envisaged. He's brave, isn't he? 09. Gets a prod. What's that? Two for the season? Yep. Jamalo giving chase. 
He's managed to get to it and secure possession. There's Windas. Gusama lurking. The flag is up. It was a brilliant save. The flag, though, has gone up for offside. Oh, Taylor, two flags here, isn't it? Within a minute. Sigh of relief. A cheer from the Sunderland fans. It's a brilliant delivery to this far post. Gasama. He's offside. It's not even close, is it? And it's a really good decision. Nicely moved around the corner by Neil. Rig with a touch. Roberts will try and get to it. Get to it, he does. Sunderland are hungry for more here. It's Patrick Roberts! Inches away. Chris Rigg makes a brilliant run and drags a couple of defenders away and that allows Roberts to come in on that wand of a left foot. You know what he's going to try and do and he is not a million miles away. They've been excellent so far, Sunderland. Neil. Now Hume, here's Roberts. On the outside of Lowe. Roberts standing that ball up. Sirkin looking to get involved, and Chris Rick setting his sights. Champagne football, isn't it? It really is. It needs a huge save from James Beadle at the end of it. It's a good strike from Chris Rigg, does nothing wrong. Hits the target hard and low. Difficult for the goalkeeper, but fair play to Beadle. That is an excellent save. Bellingham. Clark on the way here. Meander's waiting in the middle. It's Clark. Meander! He brings the house down at the Stadium of Light. Sunderland are blowing Sheffield Wednesday away. Brilliant run, brilliant ball. And look at my ender. He's free as a bird. Can Jack Clark pick him out? You bet your life he can. But this here, they're just in behind every line of that Sheffield Wednesday structure and it's on a plate and it's brilliant from Jack Clark and it's easy for Mayenda can he get the third he will be desperate for that and what's the next plan for Danny Roll I think he'll be as shocked as anybody Sunderland moving up the gears again here. Patrick Roberts with the spin! But not quite the finish. It's almost every time Sunderland enter the final third, they're getting a shot at goal or a moment of danger. Just doesn't quite get enough curve on the ball. A lovely skill to set up the shot, though. Wednesday on the approach here. It's Smith! But Jordi fires over at Sunderland. Never really looked confident on that weaker foot, did he? There's a little swing at it, but he's leaning back on the contact. Can't keep it down. Sunderland looking for a big finish here. So what has been a big, big day for the home team. Clark protects the ball. Barry Bannon steps in. I think it was a foul from Ingleson, which has been punished by the referee. There it is. A Sunday stroll for Sunderland and Regis Labrice on his home debut, the first time here at the Stadium of Light. It's a perfect start. Dennis Serkin set them on their way. Then Eliza Mayenda made it two. Luke O'Nai made it three before 25 minutes had elapsed in the second half. Eliza Mayenda stepped up again to make it four and finished the job for Sunderland. Sheffield Wednesday simply did not turn up. Sunderland made sure of that. It's finished Sunderland four, Sheffield Wednesday nil.